Hey guys, today I got a quick video for you on an actual cold start from my 12, 12 and a half horse Briggs here. This is the motor I rebuilt a couple years ago in that four part video series. And it's uh, still not really broken in yet because I ain't even cut grass with it yet since I put it on the motor here. But I thought I'd do a cold start. It's uh, about 40 degrees outside. We'll take a look at the thermometer here. It's 39 degrees outside. I thought I'd do a quick little video here on the uh, seeing how it starts cold. I started a couple days ago so it's not an old start but uh, I just thought it would be interesting to see how it starts and uh, it'll probably smoke a little bit because you have to run it on choke for a while to get it warmed up. Uh, turn the fuel valve on here. I don't think the battery on it will crank this motor. Uh, the battery's been acting up on this. It's one of the little tiny uh, motorcycle batteries so I gotta start with the jump start here. Alrighty, I got it choked and it's set for about mid throttle and get the ignition on so let's see how it starts. Oop. Wire came off. Gave it a little throttle and it died. Let me choke it and get it started again. You can tell this motor has quite a bit of compression. You see here. It's got a lot of compression. The reason it's smoking is the uh, valve guides are worn on this motor a little bit. So it's got new rings in it, but there's a little bit of play in the valves. And if you watch the four part video I did on this, you'll see a little bit of play in it. But that's the reason it's smoking. It's not really the rings. It's not oil getting past the rings, it's in valve guides. and It's a costly repair. And you gotta take it to a machine shop to do it. And since it was just my own engine, I didn't think it'd be too bad, of a, too much of a problem. So I just let it, let it go on this. But uh, they're supposed to be replaced if you have too much play. And like I said, you gotta have it to machine and everything to take the new uh, valve guides. All it is is brass inserts that go in the valves, in the valve guides. Well, guys, uh, that's about it. I just thought I'd make a 
quick cold start video. I've done a few uh, videos in the past where I called it cold start, but uh, that was just uh, probably in 70, 70 degree weather, which ain't really a cold start. But like I said, it's 40 degrees out right now, so that's uh, not a cold, cold start, but pretty cold. <laughs> so, well, guys, we'll catch you on the next video. If you got any questions or comments, leave a comment below or send me a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching.